Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we had made our way to Dean Domino, who is right up the stairs there, and we disabled the audio control and all the holograms. So everything is set for our confrontation with him. Now we're going to get a lot of backstory in this episode, so... Be prepared for it, and I'll try to be as quiet as possible during it. All right, you're resourceful. I'll give you that. Uh -huh. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. Well, as I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same. You'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. Mm -hmm. So maybe you and I should have a little chat. Just like we did when you first waltzed into town. Sounds good. I found this holotape in your safe. You don't just stop robbing casinos, do you? Nope. What's that tape? Oh, the one with Sinclair's woman, Vera. Yeah. What about it? You want me to give you a standing ovation? It'd be nice. But now, were you blackmailing Vera to break into the Sierra Madre? Blackmail is such a strong word. I asked her, she said yes, then she started to get cold feet. Uh, I blame Sinclair. He was such a victim that maybe she felt it would be too easy. It doesn't matter. What did you want her to do? Sinclair built this whole town to accommodate her. Same with the casino's voice lock. He wanted to make sure she had access to everything. Ah. And since I already had access to Vera, well, that meant I had access to the vault, too. What were you blackmailing her with? What wasn't I blackmailing her with? Chemuse, indiscretions, more chemuse, the usual Hollywood tune. Fair enough. Like Sinclair, people are the architects of their own misfortunes leave themselves wide open for someone to waltz right in and take what they want. You are an asshole. As long as they take a single step into the trap, get a few pictures, get a little dirt, and that person's your piano. Vera, Med X was her thing, even super stimmed herself for the after rush. Sick. Wow. You are a super asshole. Why did you need her? Because she could get closer to Sinclair than I ever could. He built this place for her. Well, after the two chanced to meet. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg. And he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault. Like a joke. Cause of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except yeah. Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. Go on. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined. So what happened? The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Mm. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. What was your problem with Sinclair? Problem? All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone, acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. 
always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So, I decided to take everything from him. That is sick. What the fuck is wrong with you? What did he do to you, exactly? Do to me? What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. This big colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego. All self-righteous in lights fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs. Bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. Wow. A, you had only just said that Vera Keys was mainly the reason. Two, why are you so sadistic <laughs> that you would go through those lengths? Why? So you're going to prove it now? How? Because Vera's dead. I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up. Covered in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. Yeah. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. You what? If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. So, you used a random woman just coming in from the wasteland and you mutilated her to make her sound like Vera? Oh my. This guy needs to die. This guy needs to die. Because he's just going to keep doing this again and again. He needs to die. And if she is alive? Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Viriki's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs with in business. That was a strange turn of phrase that you decided to use there. Especially especially considering the way you've been misogynistic pretty much the entire conversation. So, yeah, you're ready to die? I was asking questions when you should be shooting. You're a piece of work, I'll give you that. Well, you know, it's fun. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if we can get the head. Nope. How about the arm? At least the crippled that. And, yep, it's crippled. Okay. Oops, let's, uh pop some ghost sight so I can actually see the fucking face on him as I blow it off. Whoops, uh oh. Come on, he's just hiding behind the wall there. Ridiculous. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Dean has died. Well, Dean's tuxedo. Where's the key? Oh, the key's on me now. Okay. Um, scrap metal. Okay. Now I need to get the hell out of here. Uh. Yeah, that beeping's really, really loud. Holy shit. Okay. Container's pass key. Alright. And. Out the door we go. Whew. Another friend. Almost have the entirety of what I need from the music archives. Once you have the last fragment, you can thread the archives together at the main floor terminal. Well, nice to know, at least. I saw the other one. I saw the little uh, ghost person over here. I'm going to try and sneak up on it. 
Do I have any of the good ones? Yes, I do. I still have plenty. Where did it go? I think it's over here. Okay. Can we... Oh, he has no bomb. Oh, perfect. In that case. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot on the head. Yep. Alright, good stuff. And now he's starting to close in, which means I can get better shots. Come on. Critical strike. No, of course not. That would be too fortunate. Okay. Let's go for the head again. Nah. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, now I got two of them on me. Oh! You little shit. Fuck you. Couple shots in your head. Oh, jeez. Keep running around a little bit. Well, he got some damage from the bomb, at least. And off goes the head. Nice. Whoo! Boy. Had to be this guy. Come on. Critical strike. No, of course not. Too fortunate for me. Oh! Falls. Back up. Okay. One more shot. And off their head goes. Oh, and I have a feeling there's another one right next to me. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. You duck. Come on. Give me something. Yes. Something is better than fuck all, which it has been giving me all of this point. Come on. A couple more shots to the head. And back up. Ow. Uh, let me see if I can get uh, Insta Mash. That would help. Also, some sugar bombs. There we go. Uh, how am I resting my stats? I'm still addicted to alcohol, so that's not going to be uh, easy to get rid of. H2. Oh, I need a lot more of that. I uh, should probably get some wine first before I get H2O on me. So I'm not just putting myself back to square one. Uh, yeah, good on everything else except sleep. And... There we go. And try and get a couple more shots. And down he goes. Like a stack of cards. Alright, and... This guy... Next. Let's see if we can get a strike on this guy. Nope, of course not. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, geez. Come on. Critical strike. Good. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Oh. Now it's trying to get close in. Okay. A couple more shots on him. And that doesn't matter. God's almighty. Alright, well. Now we know. That we got all this handled. I wonder if I can get back to the theater. And, uh, loot it a little bit more. I would hope I can. Yeah, I can. From the look of it. Unless my collar starts beeping again. Nope, no beeping. All right. Now I can actually loot that area because I didn't quite get to before, you know, threat of death. Alrighty. I have very little of the good ammo left, so I'll have to switch to the uh, mediocre. But then again, that's how most of this goes. Oh, I cannot see anything anymore. Oh, this was another way around. Okay, well, now I feel like a doof. And, for good measure, I'm gonna blow your head off. There we go. Uh, Dean's Tuxedo, actually. I didn't look at that. I'll take that. Just as a, uh, as a fond, uh, fuck you. Uh, it's broken. Okay, good. Well, fuck me. I could have sworn there was something else, like a card from the Sierra Madre back here or something like that? I could swear. Maybe it's on the stage. Uh, nah. 
I see bits of Dean. That's about it. Uh, fucking fudge balls. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get this stuff near the end if I don't get it now. Ah, balls. Ah, fudge pops. Okay, well, fuck it. What the? What is that? Well, I'll just disable it for the extra XP, I guess. Alright, well, didn't expect that, but okay. That works, I guess. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Well, I mean, everything else, I can take the whiskey, fuck it. I might as well take the whiskey at this point. God knows I need something. Uh, too much wine as it stands. I'll just drink a little more. Just to top myself off with the booze. The booze that I need at this point. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Why did I go German? I don't understand. Okay, I should stop that. <laughs> Sometimes I just slip into accents when I'm, you know, trying to think. And I have a lot of Sierra Madre chips. Holy fuck. I will definitely need to do that one thing that I need to do off camera. And uh, all of those chips will help me do that. Uh, let's reload real quick. Perfect. All right. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, hopefully no others spawned up. Nope, not at all. Great. Which means I need to go to the suites. For the next thing. <sighs> kind of don't want to. Because I still need to do that thing in the casinos. Ah. See if I can drop anything. In these little vendors here. Is there anything I can get rid of? Uh, casual wear. That's about it. All these soiled clothes. That I don't necessarily need, but at the same time, uh, uh, can we repair my armor? That's the question. I can. Um, relaxed wear. There we go. Uh, God. There's a whole lot of Sierra Madre helmets that I have now. And... Not sure what to do with any of them. Because mainly they're too heavy. Uh, pop that one. And how about next one? There we go. Yeah, it's a little too fixed for me to warrant that. But that, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Well, should probably heal up a little bit. Uh, think about it. Um, pop a stim pack. Stimply amazing. Blah. That's a stupid pun. Huh. That was fast. Alright, you know what? I'm going to head over to the casino real quick. And, uh, that's the restaurant. Uh, casino's over here. Alright. Well, I just, I feel I should probably tell you what I'm going to do. Um, Mainly so you have some, at least, knowledge of what I'm trying. Uh, I'm going to try and play the games, and in some ways I'm going to rig them a little bit. Because I'm going to be popping back saves and then forward, so that way I can actually get it done. And I'm going to try and win, I think it was a thousand, or something like that, for Sierra Madre Chips, and then I get a voucher later on when I go back to the wasteland that'll pop up in a little, little safety uh, deposit box in the uh, little bunker where we first came in that brought us to here and then it will give me a voucher of I think it's a thousand some it's a high number I remember that much it's all I remember outright it also gives us about 300 uh, just alone, I think. It's three or five hundred. 
Like I said, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, but it gives us a pretty high number of Sierra Madre chips that we can use to just get more stuff that we need every time. And all we need to do is beat the games here and get a pretty high voucher. But uh, it might be 10,000 that I need to win, so it will take me a fairly long time. <laughs> Which is why I was going to do it all off camera, because it involves a lot of save scumming and a lot of, uh, cheatsy doodles, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next episode when we go up to the suites and find the last member of our little crew to get into the Sierra Madre. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And killing Dean Domino because he's an asshole for you. <laughs>